you know the reason of selling of your first venture and then you again start it the second venture. Good, good question again. So, you know, uh, JP Morgan was an investor. There was a, there was a private equity fund. Private equity funds are tenure funds. Usually between seven and ten years, and then they have to exit and move on. So JP Morgan had to find an exit. They were already about seven years invested in India. They had to sell down some of their assets in India and move on. They were also taking some funds offshore. They had their own reasons why they had to sell. So we had grown fantastically from zero to becoming. Uh, it was then itself we had a revenue run rate, I think, of almost about fifty million dollars. So we we were a company that was trying to 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 be brought to market. So they took us to market. And the first <coughs> and we had Rothschilds was appointed to on our behalf. And the first guy we met was Adeco. Adeco was the world's number one company in human resources from imported in Zurich. Thirty billion dollars in size. It's this huge elephant, you know, it's sitting there. It's uh, Employs 700,000 people, it's a blue chip Fortune 150 company, and uh, it behaves like one. It used to sponsor the Davis Cup in those days, so it was a really terrific company. I went and met these guys in, uh, in Zurich, and I was blown away by what I saw. And people I met and everything else, they told me I had to join this executive, global executive team of theirs. It was an offer that you couldn't first resist. You know, in, uh, as a young entrepreneur, I was just 37, 36 years old. In hindsight, I think I did the right thing. To, to sell it at that point because it gave me then the opportunity to go and build something else of a different type, of a different canvas elsewhere. It also gave me the three, four years to work with a multinational, see how they work. So I you know, kind of learned how they manage multiple geographies, uh, how do they build their budgeting system, how do they review performance, how do they retain staff, how do they compensate and reward performing managers. So. Uh, it was an enthusiastic position taken you know, at that stage, but it worked fine, finally. You know, so I'm happy with what happened that time. And uh, to got getting back into the same business was because I thought there's a lot of juice left in human resources. It's not yet. It's not. It's not. It's not end of play yet. You know, in that sector. So happy to be back in this as well.